Kraken YouTube Jobber here, and I have before you a bunch, massive amount of Dark Crisis booster packs. This is the ninth set to ever be released. So this is a nice little treat. Uh, one of you reached out to me on Instagram. You guys had a bunch of uh, classic old school booster packs. So we worked at a deal, and this is uh, one of the bundles that he had. He actually got these from a storage unit. How weird is that, right? So hopefully there's some amazing pulls in these uh, old school Dark Crisis booster packs. I'm, me personally, Exodia Necroz, I think that would be an awesome pull. There's also Reflect Bounder, and Reflect Bounder is like, it's almost like a magic cylinder built into a level four ultra rare light monster. I think it looks really, really cool. There's also a bunch of other cards, but those are the two cards, me personally, that I'm going to be after. So hopefully we pull one of those too. And if you guys enjoy this video, please remember to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, bell, and follow me on Instagram. I have a link in the description down below. So check that out. And if this video reaches 800 likes, I'll be giving away a booster box of the most recent set. And I'll announce one of the comments of the next video. So stay tuned for that and without any further ado let's get cracking all right well hopefully your guys this week has been going fantastic i don't know if you guys are back in school yet or not there's been a, a i had some friends that started school last week there's some friends that are starting school this week and then there's some people that are just are taking a break and they want to do some working to tuck away some money so there's a little bit of <laughs> a little bit of everything for everyone i guess all right, well, I would open up any uh, Dark Crisis booster packs like this, and I... How could I forget about Vampire Lord? Oh my gosh, this is probably one of my all-time favorite Seekers to ever be printed. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh my gosh, that is such a great surprise. Wow. Oh my gosh, this is one of my all-time favorite cards and my top five favorite Yu-Gi-Oh cards to ever be made right here. I completely, completely forgot that it was in this set. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Wow. Oh my gosh, what a cool card. Man, that is beautiful. Secret Rare Vampire Lord, everyone. Wow. You, know, you can see one of Jobber's all-time favorite Yu-Gi-Oh cards up close. This card is awesome. Wow. 2,000 attack. It was destroyed by card effects. He gets to come back. Oh my gosh, yeah. Well, we'll just read the whole thing off. It is a, it's been a long time since I've actually read the entire card. I ran this in an old school zombie control Yada deck. You have to imagine that's probably been 15 years ago. I always love zombie cards. I love all the rewarding cards. I mean, I've preached about it in all, a bunch of my opening videos. Okay, each time this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, declare one card type, monster spell or trap. Your opponent selects one, one card of that type from their deck and sends it to the graveyard. So what I would do is I was poking over monsters and stuff at Gemini Elves and whatnot. I would keep on calling spells because spells are, I mean, traps aren't going to bother this and spells are really, really crucial, especially once, once you, once you've gotten through the, like their mystical space, to food, heavy storm and whatnot. And then they have to start getting rid of like things like monster born, pot of greed, gristle charity, and so forth, so on and so forth. Um, sent it to the graveyard. If this card is destroyed and sent to your graveyard, uh, by an opponent's card effect, like Mirror Force, Regeki, Dark Hole, and so, so on and so forth. It is special summoned to your side of the field during your next standby phase. A very, very powerful card. And 2,000 attack back in the day. That was actually really hard to get around. And this card was just, you could just easily put it on the field from like Pyramid Turtle. And Pyramid Turtle was really awesome. It, when it's destroyed by battle and sent to the grave, you can special summon a zombie type monster from your deck with 2,000 uh, attack or less. Or the defense. It was defense or less. Yeah, so that was even better. So you build a creature swap their pure material, take control of their monster, attack with their monster into your pure material, then special summon vampire lord and attack, and then you have like it's just an amazing field presence and its effects are amazing. That is an awesome card. Wow. Oh my gosh. First booster pack, and we end up pulling a awesome secret rare, probably the best secret rare of the set. In my, I mean, in my opinion, it is the best secret rare in the set. Oh my gosh. I don't know how I forgot about that. Dang, that is awesome. All right, so we have some of the Dark Scorpions here. That was a uh, Chick the Yellow. Dark Scorpion cards are actually really cool, a nice little classic. 
and I, I've, I've always really enjoyed them. I ran, uh, as I've said in previous videos, in case you're new to the channel, I, I ran a one that was Dons of Luke. He has 1400 attack, 1500 defense, and if it deals battle damage to your opponent, you get to randomly discard one card from their hand to the graveyard, or you can send the top two cards of their deck to the graveyard, so pretty cool. On to our next. We have Frozen Soul here. Oh, it's kind of like a, oh, kind of like an attack blocking card. I believe it, but please check your life point difference, right? Uh, you can only activate this card when your when your life points are at least two thousand lower than your opponent's. Skip your opponent's next battle phase. Yeah. So I would run that in my Funnel Countdown deck because you're always 2,000 life points lower than them. It actually works out really, really well. Uh, Funnel Countdown, in case you don't know what that card is, you uh, pay 2,000 life points, and then and, uh, once 20 turns goes by, uh, you win the duel. So that sounds really difficult being 20 turns, but it counts your opponents too. So it's only 10 turns technically. You go, you, so you go one, two, three, four, five, back and forth. So not 20 of your own turns, <laughs> 20 turns. So pretty cool. Okay, what else? What else can we pull out of here? Huh, another Dark Scorpion cards. Yeah, that'd be actually kind of neat if they gave more Dark Scorpion support in future sets. Man, that would be really cool. I mean, even if the deck never comes to like super competitive or anything, there's the Dark Scorpion cards in general. I thought were really cool. I like their effects. I ran Donzalug in a lot of different variants of decks, especially since he was a level 4 dark monster, and he was a warrior. So you could reinforcements for him, so that was really handy back in the day, for sure. A deal with the Dark Ruler. Yeah, the Dark Ruler of Hades. That's a pretty cool card. Destroys a, an effect monster by battle. Its effects are negated. He's a uh, odd attack too. One of the Dark Scorpion cards. At uh, twenty four hundred and fifty attack. Another one of the Dark Scorpion cards right there. Very cool. All right, and on to our next booster pack. Let's see. <laughs> kind of reminds me of like the battle and boxer cards. My friend won a Yu-Gi-Oh day. Oh wow! Yeah, uh, skill draining here. So that's this is probably one, probably one of the best rares you could possibly pull in here. They actually have a unfiltered version where he has that gave him back his hordes as an ultra rare. But yeah, well, uh, pay a thousand life points and the effect of all monsters on the field's effects are negated. Very very powerful card. I've run this in all kinds of different variants of decks over the over the years. Yeah, that was awesome. I, I would think that's probably one of the best rares. I mean, it's one of the <laughs> one of those cards that has been being played even to this day in different variants of uh, control anti meta decks, like True Draco, for example. So very very powerful card. Yeah. Another rare, very cool. <laughs> that card reminds me of another Battle and Boxer card. All in my all in my story about Battle and Boxer, my my friend won ages ago a Yu-Gi-Oh day with Battle and Boxers, so that was pretty cool. I actually posted the deck profile on the channel. This is a long time ago, so a few years back. Uh, that was pretty cool. <laughs> Always fun when you see those guys. I'm like, what? Race down to my card shop. You had to give them a deck profile on that. Because, I mean, how often do you ever hear, like, battle and boxers <laughs> won anything? You know? That's really cool. And that deck is really awesome, actually. Oh, Ujama Trio. Very cool. Give your opponent three tokens. That is a common card that has that has been played in almost every variant of burn deck that has ever been made in the game. <laughs> That's crazy. Because uh, give your opponent three tokens when they normal summon a monster as well. There's four monsters right there on the field, and then you have uh, Just Desserts. And Just Desserts says you your opponent burns for 500 life points for every monster they control. So with having them having four at least four monsters, that's 2,000 life points that they they burn right there. So. <laughs> Kind of a uh, kind of terrifying to be honest. 
and then having just a bunch of monsters being having your board locked down especially back in the day because there wasn't like these easy outs to it like they have now with like links and everything else Yeah, what was this one? This one has to do with tokens. Destroy all tokens on the field. Increase your life points by the number of tokens destroyed x800 points. Oh my gosh, that's a lot. <laughs> Good way to get rid of those scapegoats too and those uh, get goat farmer. Nice, drag down to the grave. Uh, you activate this card, both you and your opponent. Look at each other's hands and then discard one card to the graveyard. So you would act, you'd play that in like Dark World, and then you would only have, you know, like say Snow or Brow in your hand. So say you discard the Brow from your hand, you get to draw two cards. Because uh, Drag Down to the Grave says you draw a card, and then when a Brow goes to the grave, you get to draw one card. So it's pretty cool. And then you get to discard a crucial card from your opponent's hand, because your, your opponent's obviously not expecting this, so they're holding on to their best cards in their hand. Especially in their first hand, they don't even have a chance to even play anything if you, if you do this first turn. So, really cool card. And it set up a lot of uh, plays, because when I was playing Dark World with that card, I was running it also with uh, Mind Crush. So you know what the cards are in their hand, then you just Mind Crush the other cards. If it's uh, something... Uh, back in the day when I was doing this, I had like Heavy Storm and whatnot. So if I saw if I saw a Heavy Storm, I would drag down to the grave one of their like, key combo cards. And then, uh, oh nice! Medora Super Rare! Very cool. And then I just Mind Crush like the Heavy Storm out of their hand, so I don't lose my field card or whatever. <laughs> Nice. This what, what does this guy do? Uh, the attack of this card increases by 200 points for every fairy monster in your graveyard. Oh my gosh! And he's already 1500 attack. So automatically, if you have one fairy, he's 17. So he becomes a big boy really quick, very easily. Actually, that's a good super rare. I'm gonna do a little uh, shout out here to our KMC Hypermat sleeves since they donate sleeves to our channel here. Very cool. The Great Mon So this is a, the Tribute Summon version of the Great Monju. What does this one do? The attack of this card becomes twice the original attack of one monster that is Tribute for the Tribute Summon of this card. Oh my goodness. So that becomes a really big monster very quick. Tribute off of Jinzo for that. 4,800 attack. I mean, I'm just using that off the top of my head. I love Jinzo. <laughs> Obviously, there's a lot of different creatures out there. You can Tribute off to make it a lot bigger than that. Another one of our Dark Scorpion cards. Very cool. Oh, look cute. <laughs> I love dogs. Oh my gosh, wow. Judgment of Anubis Secret Rare. We've pulled two Secret Rares and one Super Rare. This is a really cool, oh wow, this pack was stacked. The best booster pack you could possibly pull. <laughs> wow, how how incredible is that? So the Judgment of Anubis is an, is an awesome seeker. I ran this in an old school bird control deck back in the day. So I run it with like wave motion cannons and also cards like this to be able to protect myself from like heavy storm, for example. It says discard one card from your hand, negate the activation in the effect of a spell card controlled by, by your opponent that has the effect of destroying spell and trap cards on the field and destroy it. After that, you can destroy one face-up monster on your opponent's side of the field. This is this is the crucial part here. And inflict damage to your opponent equal to the attack of the destroyed monster. So you get to basically ring a destruction, a monster on their side of the field. So they heavy storm you, you negate it. Then you get to ring a destruction, like say they're Black Lester Soldier, for 3,000. Yeah, so this was a really, really an amazing card. I cannot believe how fortunate we've been on our pulls today. Oh my gosh. Two skill drains. We pulled two secret rares, the one of each secret rare here. Wow, these packs were absolutely amazing. I mean, literally the best booster packs you could possibly want. And we ended up pulling two skill drains so far. Wow, that pack was stacked. A seeker and a skill drain. That's the most sought after uh, rare in this set, definitely, you'd be hunting for. Oh my gosh, wow. That is insane. Gosh, all right. We got our final two booster packs, everyone. Let's see what we can what we can pull here. Another frozen soul. Very cool. Like I said, all for those final countdown players. Oh my gosh, wow, another foil out of here. The Dark Master Zork Super Rare is our ritual. I don't even know what this guy even does. Let's go see. So you got the whole ritual effect here. Uh, blah, 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 blah. 
during your turn, you can roll a six-sided die. If the result is a one or two, destroy all monsters on your opponent's side of the field. If the result is a three, four, or five, destroy one monster on your opponent's side of the field. Okay. If it rolls as a six, destroy all monsters on your on your side of the field. Oh my gosh. So it is a little bit of a gamble. So I'm like, oh, this is flawless. But the six part is a little bit terrifying. If you roll a six, you destroy all your monsters. <laughs> That's a little scary. Sleeping this card up. Beautiful looking card. Wow, that is awesome. How cool is that? All right. And on to our last booster pack. Dark Crisis. Oh my gosh. These packs have been absolutely amazing so far. Bum, bum, bum. Another a Jamo Trio. Oh, what does this one do? There's like, there's like all these brothers and sisters. The attack of this card becomes equal to the combined original attack of two mon two monsters you tribute for this tri oh oh he's a two tribute oh it's just like the other one that's cool <laughs> oh my gosh wow a third skill drain out of here Wh that is incredible oh my gosh what a good way to wrap up this booster pack it's not a foil but my gosh i mean if you're gonna pull if you're not gonna pull anything that's non-foil that would be the card three rare skill drains oh my gosh these booster pack, these booster packs are absolutely insane. So we have three rare skill drains, and we ended up pulling two, the both of the secret rares in here, the Vampire Lord and the Judgment of Anubis, and then we have these two incredible super rares. Wow, that was amazing. Oh my gosh. How lucky is that? All right, guys. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. I absolutely am so pleased that we ended up pulling a Secret Rare Vampire Lord. It is one of my all-time favorite, if not my all-time favorite Secret Rare to ever be printed. And we pulled it on camera, so that was really cool. And if you guys enjoyed this video and you guys are new to the channel, please remember to subscribe, bell, and turn on all notifications. You actually get notified when I post future openings. Also, in the link in the description down below, I have my Instagram. Guys, check it out and follow it. Say hi. It's a nice, easy way for you guys to be able to say hi to me. And if you guys have cool old old school steel product you guys like to donate or sell to me on this for openings for this channel please reach out and do so and drop a comment down below let me know what you guys thought about this video let me know what your favorite Yu-Gi-Oh card was and again thank you guys jobber here is signing out